G'day folks! Welcome to another episode of Stuff and Such. Today we're going to be planting some carrots. They're uh, called, uh... What are they called? I forget the name. They're called... Parisian, I think. I'm not very good at English. But, anyways, I'll put a picture of them here. You can take a look at them there. That wind is probably... Crazy. So the nice thing about these carrots is that they're they're very very much like a radish. They uh, they're basically a, a a pull and boil and then eat them. You don't need to worry about slicing them up or anything like that. They're just basically treat them like basically like potatoes or, or uh, stuff like that. I'm going to try a new method, see how it works out. I think it should work, but we'll see. A couple weeks ago or 10 days ago, whatever it was, I planted this entire bed full of beets. As you can see, they're coming out nicely. I'm, I planted them quite intensive. I I've learned that the thicker you plant your your product, the less you have to worry about dealing with weeds. So that's kind of nice. Over here we got the onions, they're coming up nice. Mulch, uh, used uh, half decayed uh, straw. And it's doing wonderful. I love how it, love how it holds that moisture, keeps things nice and soft. So over here is the bed that we're going to be doing these carrots in, and I got a bowl of sand that I have. That I, I have an idea. We'll see how it works. Let's get started. I imagine some old timer has a has a better idea of how to plant carrots, but I don't really know of it yet. So, the thing with carrots is that the seeds are extremely small. In my pocket somewhere. So this package here has 4,500 carrot seeds in it. And as you can see, it's not very big and very thin. So what often is an issue when you're planting directly from seed is you have to go through and you have to thin them all. That's no fun. So maybe I should change my instead of stuff and such. I should be the lazy, lazy farmer or lazy gardener or whatever. But I try to make things easy. Because if things are easy, then you can do other jobs and be more productive. So this is the idea I have. So what I'm thinking is I'll pour. I want these to be fairly thick, so I figured it out. I got almost 4,000 square inches of surface area in this spot. So that would work out to about a carrot every square inch. And then obviously not all of them are going to actually go. So anyways, it'll, it'll come down. So the idea here is that I'm going to take the seeds, mix them into the sand, and then spread the sand seed combination. That way it also kind of buries the seed a little bit and makes it easier to spread. Does that make sense? Let's get started. They do make seed tapes for carrots, and I have used them in the past. And they do work well. It's just that you don't get very many seeds for as much money as you're spending. So it's kind of a you kind of lose a bit there. That package of seeds I get offline cost me about five dollars. So 
it's not like I'm really going to be losing much in this experiment. <laughs> Give it the old pat pat, make some bread. All right. Next step, I guess, uh, is just to go along and sprinkle the sprinkle the sand. Not really sure how thick to put her, but. So essentially what the sand is doing is more or less just knocking down the concentration of the seeds. So instead of being 100% it's now 5% you know, you know what I mean. Like if took a bottle of Pepsi and dumped a bottle of Pepsi in a 5 gallon pail of water and thins it out. So then, after I get this all tossed on here, I'm going to go along the top and give it a little rub. All right, guys, that, that's basically it. Seems pretty simple. Hopefully the thickness will be correct. We'll touch back in about, probably, probably about two weeks. That way we'll see how the beats are doing, how the Swiss chard broadcast method went over here. See the progress of the onions, and then also we'll see the progress of the carrot bed, see how it turned out. That's all for now guys, we'll catch you later on the next video.